In this video, we're going to get our development environment installed on Mac OS X and Linux. The install method is exactly the same, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it on a Mac. If you already installed Grails on Windows, you can of course skip this video. And so the requirements for getting your Grails environment set up on Mac or Linux is that you need a Java Developers Kit installed, and then of course the Grails libraries. So let's start off with Java. In either platform, whether you're on Mac or Linux, you'll want to bring up a terminal. And you can do that from your Mac by just going to the Go menu and bringing up the Utilities folder. And then down at the bottom, there's a terminal here, so I'll double click on that. Now, the easiest way to install Java is just to type in a Java command. And if it's not installed, it will prompt you to do so. So I'm just going to type in the command Java space dash version. And it says, well, Java's not installed, so would you like to install it? Now, the one difference is if you're on Linux and you type in that command, it'll say it's not installed, and then it will give you a list of packages that are available. At the bottom of that list, it will give you the command, which is probably the apt-get command. And so you'll just want to use that to install Java. Just make sure that you install the JDK package as opposed to the JRE package. You'll need a Java developer's kit in order to write and compile Java, whereas the JRE package will simply run compiled Java applications. OK, so over on the Mac side, we'll just click Install here and just go through a basic install with all the defaults. So I'll agree. It's going to find the software and install everything for us. And once it's installed, it'll let you know that. So we'll go ahead and click OK here. And so now I should be able to put in that Java version command again and get back a response that said that Java was installed correctly. So we're good to go on the Java side. Now on the Grail side, let me just take a quick look over on the Grails website. On grails.org slash download, down at the bottom, it mentions a couple of different tools. We're going to be using this one here, which is the Groovy Environment Manager. This process is the same on both OS X and Linux. They've got a link to their website to tell you some more details on how it works and so forth. I'm just going to take you through the install from our terminal. But it's a very nice tool that allows you to install multiple versions of Grails and switch back and forth easily between them. So that can be very handy. In fact, I wish the Windows environment worked this way because it's so much easier than what we had to do to get it running on Windows. So you can check out their website for details, but let me just go back to my terminal here and I'll just take you through the commands. So the first thing you need to do is get the GVM tool itself installed, and that's done with the curl command. And on Linux, you may not have curl installed, so again, you'll have to use the apt-get command to do that. By the way, if you want more details on how to install a Linux environment, you can go to the grails.org website and just look at the installation documentation and they've got some great links on some more details on how to work with Linux. So for us, we're going to say curl space dash s space, and then the URL of the tool itself, which is get.gvmtool.net space, and then the pipe symbol, which is the shifted button right above your enter key space, and the word bash. By the way, you do need to use a bash shell for GVM. That's the default terminal on OS X, and it's also the default terminal on Linux. But if you happen to be using another terminal, you will need to use Bash for this. So we'll hit Enter. It'll install really quickly, and it will set all your environment variables and everything for you. Do notice that it says you need to open a new terminal in order to use it. So let's go ahead and close this one, and then I'll just go back and open a new one. I'll do it back here from my Utilities folder the way I did before. And you just want to check to make sure it actually installed correctly and is working with your Java environment. And the easiest way to do that is just say GVM space help. And if you get a help response back, you know that GVM is working correctly. All right, well, now we're going to use GVM to install Grails. And so the command that you need to enter is GVM space install space Grails. And this will install the latest version of Grails. If you want to install an earlier version of Grails, you just put another space in there and then the version you want, like 2.2.4. I want the latest version of Grails, so I'm just going to hit my Enter key here, and it's going to go ahead and download that and get it installed. You'll notice that it is giving us the latest, as of this video anyway, which is 2.3.4.
Okay, and once it's installed Grails, it will ask you if you want to use that as the default. We're going to say yes there. And now everything is installed. So now let's just make sure that everything is up and running correctly. I'll check Java first by saying Java space dash version. I get our Java version back, so that's looking good. And I'll check out Grails by typing in Grails space dash version. And we get our Grails version back. Okay, so we are good to go. Now we have both Java and Grails installed. This gets us ready to install a graphical tool that we will use for writing our Grails applications. But having a terminal environment available like this one will come in handy for other things that we will do in the course.